Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I'm Ima Rafaya, and I know it's been a minute, but we have an excellent word to encourage the hearts of the daughters of Tazion. Uh, before we get started with the teaching on this evening, we're going to have a selection song by uh, the Ahokim here at Teshua. We hope you take great delight in our singing. Hallelujah. 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 Can't nobody do me like you should do Uh, the greatest honor on this evening for blessing us with another day and another day's journey that he's watched over all of us. Hallelujah. For Almighty Yah is faithful and he's just. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our, our instructor, our teacher, uh, our messenger has given the daughter's instruction on how when we hear the truth on the Shabbat, how we should go back over the scriptures, how we should study to show ourselves, make ourselves approved before Almighty Yah. So the daughters here, we gather on Monday evening and we share what we have learned from the scripture, from the hearing. And as we hear it, we obey. And we do, because that's what God, Yah has told us to do. He wants us to obey Him in all things. So as we have heard this truth, we apply it to our lives, we instruct our little ones on how to discipline their lives so as they grow, they will understand by and by the power of Almighty Yah. But the message on the Shabbat that Zakin Yeramiyah taught us was waiting on Almighty Yah. And daughters, I've learned over the many years that if you wait on Yah, he, He's always on time. Hallelujah. 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 He's always on time. Sometimes we get in a hurry because we want things done right now, this minute, not a second later. But if we just wait on Yah and we're faithful in prayer, Yah will deliver. Hallelujah. You know, and I can say that I've looked over my life and things I've gone through. It has been for my strength, hallelujah, that I can encourage the other daughters that you can press on. But can I tell you, if you don't hear this truth, and if you don't walk in righteousness, you won't understand 
and you'll always stumble and fall. You'll always be confused. You won't know which way to go. But if you wait on Almighty God, yes. He will give you strength to stand. Yeah. You know, Rayak had been sick in the month of March. And can I tell you, just one sister came to me. She said, stay there with him. Be there for him. And I would encourage him every day. And I let him know we're going to get through this together. Yes. And we did. I said, y'all give me strength because I'd never seen my ish being that sick before. So y'all gave me strength to overcome and to be a strength for my husband. And I told her y'all for that. And I told her y'all for that. Just one faithful sister. When she embraced me, I felt the love. And see, I know that she, she's been through that too. So she could give me words of encouragement. I didn't reject her words. You know, when we reject truth, it causes us to stumble. But when you hear truth and you grab hold, grab hold of it, it will keep you. So the scripture I'm going to start with, hallelujah, the Zakane Yeramia read, and it came from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1. It says, finally, brethren, well, I'm talking to the sisters, pray for us, Yah is faithful, who shall establish you, he shall establish you and keep you from evil, from all evil. When you're walking and doing that which is righteous before Almighty Yahweh, he will keep you from all evil. He will warn you. Do you hear me, daughters? He will warn you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next scripture I want to go to is Proverbs, verse 8 and 32. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it reads, it says, Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O you children. And we are children. Yes. For blessed are they that keep my way. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is a man that hears me, watching daily at my gate, waiting at the post of my doors. For whosoever findeth me finds life. Did you all hear that? Yes. Whosoever findeth Yahshua HaMashiach, Hallelujah. you find Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. It brings joy, it gives you shalom, yes. and it gives you stability to stand when the evil days do come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, for whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of Almighty Yah. But he that sins against me wrongs his own soul, his own nephesh. Mm -hmm. And it says, all they that hate me love death. Well, you say, well, how can I hate Yah? I just don't like what he says. Then you hate him. You say, well, how could I hate him? I don't keep the commandments. Then you hate him. You say, well, he says for us to fellowship together. You say, well, I don't like doing that. I like being by myself. Then you hate Almighty Yah. Mm -hmm. He gives us instruction how to live with each other, yeah. how to be at shalom, mm -hmm. how to be carers one for the other. We got to care for each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we can't care for each other, then you can't care for no one. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. Can I tell you, when you can love outside your home, then you really know how to love. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you see somebody poor on the street, you say, I'm not giving him my money. I don't know what he's going to do, do with it. Then you don't care for nobody. Right. Yeah, my heart goes out to you when you see a woman on the street and a child on the street. Mm -hmm. No, you say, well, if you need money for food, yeah, you give. You mm -hmm. give to the poor. Y'all say the poor you have with you always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can say Yah has given us much. You say, well, you're not dressed fancy, but I have no need for nothing. Do you hear me? The most important thing is that we understand truth. The truth will make you free. Do you hear me? Even Sabaya always said, not it'll set you free, it will make you free. When you want to sin, you won't sin. Because you know it, it's, it goes against the commandments of Almighty Yah. Yes. When he says fellowship with the daughters of design, you fellowship. Yes. He say work willing with your hands, you work willingly with your hands. Yes. Y'all didn't have lazy daughters. Mm -hmm. Once you come to the knowledge of this, this truth, it will mold and shape your mind. You know where your place is and what you're supposed to do. 
Yeah. You'll know how to love and really how to care. For we're in an hour where this generation is so corrupt. It is as corrupt. Nobody cares about nobody. And that's the truth. You know, I see how different things happen in, in schools and how little children are getting raped on the bus. I said, what a sore evil in the land. Yes. And there was a little boy that, this is elementary school, raped a little girl, and the bus driver doesn't know what's going on. If that isn't evil, yes. the only thing you have to do is look in the rearview mirror. It happened on the back seat of the bus, and the principal just happened to look at the video and saw what was taking place. This is an evil world. Mm -hmm. It's evil. Yes. So I told her, yeah, that we're in a place where we can do what's right. We can look out for each other's children yes. and do it righteously, too. Yes. Yes. True. We're not going to be unfair. We're fair. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes. Because if you love Almighty Yah, you're going to do everything right. And you say, well, he didn't see me. The eyes of Yah are in every place, beholding the evil yes. and the tub. He said, I set before you this day, life and death, choose. Yes. And most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, people choose evil. Mm -hmm. Because they don't understand what Yahshua has come to do for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you know what in the scripture says, um, it says, blessed are they that keep the way of Almighty Yah. So there is a way. Did you all hear me? Yes. There's a way that we must keep. I don't care what nobody tell you. I don't. We've got to hear instruction and obey. You will never grow in this truth if you don't hear the instruction. So there is a way that Yah has for his people. There are only two kind of people in the world, the righteous and the wicked. Your actions and your deeds speak of who you are and whose side you're on and who your father is, either your father's almighty your way or ha satan. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about the way. And I want to start, I'm going to go to Genesis. Can I tell you, you can't have the beginning without the end. Y'all never did away with the te Old Testament because almighty Yah is the Old Testament. Yahshua HaMashiach came to fulfill the Old Testament and the New. So you can't have the old. It's almost like you're saying, okay, just forget about slavery and how we, the blacks were mistreated. You can't forget it. You can't do away with it because it's for real. It still exists. So you can't do away with that. So you have to start at the beginning. And we're going to start with Genesis chapter 3, verse 24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it reads Genesis 3 and 24. It says, so he drove out the man. And he placed at the east of the garden of Eden, a cherubim, a millikin, and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. That millikin did not let anything that was unclean into that garden. He pushed Adam out and Eve. He pushed them out mm -hmm. because they sinned against Almighty Yah and they could not get back in. So there is a way yes. that we must walk in. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Numbers 20 and 17. I told Yah for the way totally. because the way I was going was for it was hell and destruction. Yes. It's nothing great that I had done. It wasn't because of my mother's prayers. Y'all knew from the beginning that he was going to choose me and you. Hallelujah. Because when he gives you this truth, he doesn't want you to reject it. He's trying to make you free. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Genesis 20 and 17, it reads, it said, Let us pass, I pray thee, through another country. We will not pass through the fields or through the vineyards. Neither will we drink of the water of the wells. We will go by the king's highway. We will not turn to the right hand nor to the left until we have passed by the borders. 
Hallelujah. This was the children of Israel. They were uh, leaving, leaving Egypt. And they weren't going to the vineyards to feed themselves. They were going to stay on the king's highway. There is a way, a righteous way, for the people of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. 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 Deuteronomy 8 and 6. We must understand, daughters, I don't care what you think. Yah knows your thoughts. He knows that they're vile. Yes. My thoughts are vile and corrupt. Yes. So even when I rise in the morning, I have to cast my evil thoughts down yes. and say, Yah, help, help me. me. Yeah. Guide me and strengthen me. Yeah. Because can I tell you, daughters, I know we say there's something good. There's nothing good about you. There's nothing good about me. No. True. Only when I strive to do that which is righteous before Yah, that's the tub that I do. I strive to do right every day. Yes. I may fall, but it's that, that's not my purpose. And you will fall too. Mm -hmm. You don't get up and say, well, I'm just wicked. I'm, no, you pray and say, Yah, help me, deliver yes. me. Yes. Yes. Every day, that's what we should say. Every day, that should be our prayer. Yah, help me, yes. Yes. deliver me. Because without him, you are nothing. That's the truth. Without him, you have That's no strength. Truth, he yeah. is my strength. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 8 and 6. It says, Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments. We keep his commandments. Keep the commandments of Yahweh. To walk in his ways and to fear him. If you don't keep his commandments, you don't fear him. You say, I don't care. I don't care what he tells me to do. I'm not doing it. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be uh, a righteous daughter. I don't work willingly with my hands. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be in the kitchen. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to do anything. Yes. That's not the will of y'all for the daughters of Tazan. No. You know, we were all out there in the world at one time, working on jobs, pursuing our own thing, keeping up with the Joneses. You're already in the house. You got to buy a bigger house than the house you have. You got to buy a newer car because your neighbor next door got a new one. You're always trying to keep, it's just a repetitive cycle, and you're not going anywhere. You're being dead, dead until you go to the grave. But can I tell you, I've done that, so I know. So doors, if, if you just keep this simple life, just obey what y'all commands you. Just do it, love it. You gotta take great delight in this truth. Did you all hear me? Yes. We gotta take great delight in this yes. truth. The truth. Yes. We're sad and downtrodden for what? Can I tell you when I got up this morning? You know I like cool weather. Hallelujah, I do. Hallelujah. Give me the winter. Give me snow. True. Don't give me. I like the summer, because of, and the spring because of flowers. But I excel when it's cold. Even with all my aches and pains, I love the winter. I do. But daughters, as we understand this truth and what Yah has done for us, we must be excited every day, yes, even yes, when it's hot. Truth. No, I don't like, like I said, I don't like the heat. But can I tell you, I take one day at a time. Use I don't look at the temperature when it starts to get hot. I don't. That's me. But I still strive every day for excellence. And can I tell you, I'm happy every day. Every day I make myself happy because yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, so do yeah. You know, I even hear my, my, my only brother that's alive. He's in a wheelchair. And can I tell you, he says, as long as I'm alive, I'm happy. Hallelujah. He says, I'm alive, I'm happy. So if he's happy, why should not be happy? Yeah. I'm alive. Yes. I strive to let the light of your sure shine for me that other daughters can see. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want them to see what Yahshua has done for me. And I want them to know that this is real. Mm -hmm. This is real. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Deuteronomy 8 and 6, it says, um, did I read it already? I meant 8. Yeah, 8 verse 6. It says, therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Almighty Yah. You walk in him and you fear him. If you fear him, if you truly fear Almighty Yah, you're going to keep the commandments. Yes, mm -hmm. yes you will. True. Yes. And every day you'll be excited. Uh, yes. Can I tell you, if it means being in the laundry room all day, washing mm -hmm. clothes, wa not your clothes, somebody else's clothes, yes. you'll take great delight in mm -hmm. this. Do you hear me? Because there was a time we had to do that. True. Now yes. we're doing our own laundry. True. 
But you have to take great delight in that. Can I tell you, what if it's a single brother and his clothes don't sweat? Can I tell you, when they sweat, they sweat, okay? True. And you got to take great delight in washing another man's laundry. Mm -hmm. So there are things about us that we just got to get out of. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. the truth, because y'all's not pleased with that. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go to 2 Samuel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm reading from uh, 2 Samuel 20. 22, verse 33. Praise you. Hallelujah. And it reads, it says, Yah is my strength. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And power. Yes. And he makes my way perfect. Yes. Can you, when you walk in the way of Almighty Yahweh, your way will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you're laboring with your hands, everything you do will be perfect. Yes. Because this is the will of Almighty God. Yes. Did you all hear me? Yes. He teaches my hands. He teaches my hands to do that which is right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit around and be idle all day. Mm -hmm. And we must understand that. Daughters, I'm here to instruct you and to help you on this way. Mm -hmm. I started walking this way. At a very young age, I was 20 years old, and I knew I was vile, wicked, and on my way to hell. There was nothing tough about me. But once I heard this truth, I knew it was real, it was genuine. Yes. And I knew y'all was extending his hand to me. Mm -hmm. At the time when I saw the change in my husband, y'all saved him. He clean. can I tell you, it didn't take no two or three months. Overnight, my husband, Ray Akdawi, changed. And when he brought that change in his life, I wanted it too. I didn't know, I didn't get saved because I saw the change in him. I got saved because y'all already from the beginning, before I was conceived in my mother's womb, had already chosen me. See, we have to, we've gotten this wrong. We think it's our mother and our father's prayers. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. It's because from the beginning, y'all knew who he was going to say. Y'all yes. yes. know who's going to stay in this way. Y'all yes. know. Yes. Yes. He knows who's, who delights in this truth because he knew it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He knew when he made Hasatan, he knew that he was going to turn mm -hmm. on him, and he did. Mm -hmm. He made, he was the most beautiful angel there was in the kingdom. Do you all understand that? Yes. He took pride in that. Pride goes before a fall. Truth. Can I tell you, he hadn't fallen yet, but he shall fall. Yes, and sure. those angels that followed him, they shall fall too. Yes. And remember this, hell has enlarged itself because of the wickedness of man. Yes. Not because of what Yah has done. Whatever Yah does, it is perfect. Mm -hmm. We just have to walk in it. Yes. We're not trying to figure out how he's going to do it. He's going to do He will save you if you let him. Yes. He's not going to make you no, serve him. True. It all starts here in the mind. When you learn to love and to keep his commandments, then Yah will keep you. When you strive every day to do that which is right, Yah will keep you. Yes. He'll keep you. And you'll stand strong too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Ezra. Praise Yah. Ezra 8 and 21. And it reads, Then I proclaim a fast at the river of Ahava that we might afflict ourselves before Almighty Yah to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance that we might seek a right way. So there is a right way for the people of Yah. Yes. Once you come to the knowledge of this truth, you hear those, the elders, that rule over you. The elders are not elders that are corrupt. They're elders that have a tough report. Yes. And they want, they're trying to help you on this journey. Yeah. Um, yes. yes. You say, well, you always instruct them. Well, that's what, if you, can I tell you, if you're taking college courses, 
you have instructors that are going to instruct you. Mm -hmm. You can think they're mean if you want to. They're there to help you. Yes. Without them, you don't pass the test. Without the instructors, you don't pass the test. So Yah has given you instructors yes. to help you on this journey. Yes. To make it just a little bit easy. Oh, yes. So they can tell you the warning signs. They can say, okay, I've seen you before. Because I have. Yes. I'm 66 years old. And I have seen most of the sisters that here, I've seen them before. Mm -hmm. You get, I've seen them before. Yes. Yes. You know the ones that are going to do right. And you pray that the ones that are, keep stumbling, that they get it right before it's too late. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Psalms, <coughs> verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 1, verse 6, it says, For Yahweh knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly, the unrighteous, they shall perish. So if Yah knows the way, He knows the way of the righteous, He will keep us, daughters. Did you hear me? He'll keep us. And can I tell you, we won't see destruction. We'll just fall asleep, and when Yahshua shall return, Who's going to get up? The dead. The mm -hmm. dead in your Shur HaMashiach. Yes. We're going to get up. Yes. We will yeah. not see destruction. I take great delight in that. Yeah. Yes. And I can truly say, I'll see my Emma by and by. Hallelujah. Because she died in the Emuna here, trusted and calling on Almighty Yah. Well, what about your father? Well, I can't say that about my father. But I can't say that about my aim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 18 and 30. Daughters, when you finish looking at this video, go back over these scriptures to encourage your own heart. Because there is a way for the righteous. 18 and 30 reads, As for Yahweh, His way is perfect. The word of Yah is tried. He is a buckler. To all those that trust in him. His way is perfect. He's a buckler to all those that trust him. He is our strength. Yes. There's nothing that comes our way that we can't forbear. That we can't tackle, daughters. There is nothing. <clears throat> and I want to share a little bit with uh, you all about Rayog Sickness. I'll share just a little bit. Because it came upon me when I didn't see it. I wasn't aware of it. <clears throat> but can I tell you, Yah helped us every step of the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 30. Um, For Yah is our rock. It is Yah that girdeth me with strength and make my way perfect. Yah makes our way perfect. Yah is our strength. He must obey. He is. Every day I see Ema Sabeh. She's the oldest among us. Yes. I see her strength. Yes. Do you all hear me? She's not bent over. No. I see her strength. Yes. Yes. She walks every day, sometimes twice a day. True. Mm -hmm. She gets up from the table. She prepares her own meal. True. She sits down. She, you, know what? you don't really have to do anything. She does her own laundry. True. And then she washes the uh, laundry for the single Akeem here. Yes. That's what she does. True. And she's yes. been faithful with like I'm saying, using what I, I don't touch it. I put on gloves, I just shake it in there. I put it all in there together. She's faithful, she folds it. I'm not a folder either. It's not that I can't be, I just choose not to be. I just ruffle it up and put it in the drawer. But she takes her time and she folds it and make, and when you put it on, you don't even have to iron it. Yes. Yeah, it's true. true. So y'all will give you strength to do what you need to do in this hour. Yes, yeah. true. We just must prove ourselves. You're going to be proved, daughters. Yes. You're going to be tested. Why? Because y'all wants to prove if you truly love me. Yes. He loves us and he wants us, he wants us to love him as much as he loves us. And you say, well, that's, it's not hard. The way of a transgressor is hard. Mm -hmm. If we just lay down our old nasty flesh, our old stinking feelings and just follow this truth. This is our daily legend. This is our daily bread. 
We pick this up every day. And we just read, if you don't read but one scripture, and you understand the power of that, you understand the power of that, it will truly make you free. Yes. It will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go to Psalms 25, verses 8 and 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, Tough and upright is Almighty Yah. Therefore, he teach sinners in the way. And I was a sinner. Yeah, I was a flat out, bona fide sinner. There was nothing yeah. tough about me. Nothing. And can I tell you, I was mean. I, you know, when I look back over my life, I'm like, why did Ray I pick me? Because I was mean. I had a lot of my daddy's ways. My daddy was a mean man. And I had more of his ways than I had my mother's because everybody liked my mom. Everybody. And everybody knew my father too. Hallelujah. It says, the meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his way. So we got to get the fight out of us. He's not shoving nothing down our throat. True. Because you, Just because you smile doesn't make you nice to us. No, ma'am. It's your labor. Yes. Your faithfulness, your commitment. And you know, I, there was a minister that Rayak knew some years ago. And he used to tell Rayak, he said, I'm going to be kinder to you than you are to me. And I'm thinking, well, how's he going to do that? And can I tell you, the man was kind to us. And he went to Africa, <clears throat> he'd gone twice. And the last time when he got back, he was sick because he drank the water. He tried to do with the people. He lived among the people. He drank the water. He got sick. He made it back from Africa, but he was stuck in New York because he, uh, what do you have, what, what is it called? Malaria. malaria. He had malaria. And some of the brothers that were here in Charlotte, North Carolina, had to drive all the way. They kept him at the airport, and they had to drive to New York to go get him. He was so sick that he couldn't keep nothing on his stomach. And for, I think, maybe two months or so, his wife said she didn't know how to cook. The doctor said he couldn't eat anything greasy, and they wanted him to eat only baked meat, meat and vegetables. And I said, can I cook for him then? Because his wife said, well, I, I don't know how to do it. I said, I can do it. I said, I will cook for him every day, and I will bring it to the house. And for two months, I was faithful with that until that man got better. I was faithful. He couldn't stand broccoli, and I said, if you just eat this, it's gonna make you better. Just eat it. I said, when you do tough for a month, I'll find a dessert that you can eat. Because he wanted something sweet, and I, found, I forgot what it was, but I found a dessert that he could eat. But can I tell you, when you, when you commit unto Almighty Yahweh, well, there's nothing that you cannot do. That's true. I wanted to see him get better too, because the love he had for Ray Ark, when somebody cares for you like that, daughters, you want to be kind. Yes. Yes. You do. Yes. And what can I, back then he was kind to us, even though he turned against Rhea because of a lot somebody told. But back then he was kind to us. There was nothing that I could have asked for that that man would not have done for Rhea and I. And that's the truth. Now, I can't say that about his wife, but I can truly say that about him. So when you're faithful like that, why would you shine a love? So that's the kind of y love Yah's given us. Yes. He gives us that love every day. And you say, well, I don't like that. I don't like being there. I'd just rather be going out. Going out doing what? You know, yeah, I get leery sometimes going out to stores. I'm not kidding. Because you never know what maniac might come out shooting. Mm -hmm. You never know. And you just got to get this. You just got to. I ain't got to get nothing. Mm -hmm. And listen, if I can't get it through Amazon and eBay, I won't get it. And that's the truth. No, I do go. I'm not saying I don't go outdoors. I'm not saying that. But when I go, I'm, all, I'm very prayerful. I pray going up wherever we're going, and I pray coming back. That y'all protect us and that he keeps us. Yes, I do. And we should pray too. Always. He said pray without ceasing. We should always. We should have a prayer life. True. You, be able, you pray in season and out of season. Yes. And that's how we should do it every day. We daughters, when you say you don't have nothing to do, get on your knees and pray. Yes. Yes. Yahweh, drop it in your heart what you should yes. do. Yes. 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 
He said, yeah, I commit my works unto you this day that my thoughts may be established. Yes. That's how you do it. Yeah. He will yeah. establish. You won't have time to be laying around right. and taking a nap. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you when I take a nap? Most of the time I get my nap in on Sunday after I've cooked dinner. Yes. After I've cooked dinner with my daughter. We cook together. We're, can I tell you, we're a bad team. You, True. If you ever come here to, to show a community for a meal, you will have a king's feast. Yes. And that's the truth. Because everything we do, we put our hearts into it. Yeah. I take a nap. I get up, do a little housework. And then we meet, she and I come together to, again. And we get the materials ready for school. Yes. Because, yeah, we're interested in our children learning. Yes. Listen, I worked in the school system. And can I tell you, those Caucasian mothers, this is no lie, they would say, Miss Roberts, can I run off papers for you? I said, mm -mm, I got it. Well, see, I knew why they were doing that, too. They wanted their children to always excel. When you don't get involved with your children's work, you don't care. Those mm -hmm. mothers care because they wanted their children to excel. Yes. We want our children to excel too. Yes. Not in work. Yeah, we want them to be able to read, write, write, and do math. Yes. yes, we do. And we work with our children. Yeah, I fuss a lot. Do I fuss now, Vita? Let me hear you. Yes, ma'am. Say it again. Yes, ma'am. I fuss because I know they can do better. Sometimes she's excellent at doing work, and sometimes she just gets lazy. But I know our children can excel. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had one, a four-year-old write a story last week. Do you hear me? A four-year-old write a story. He was so excited about it, and he said something, and the children started to laugh, and he got mad. He was so mad. And I told him, your story was excellent. I don't care about them laughing. I said, you did well. Yeah. How many four-year-olds you know write stories? He wrote a story about the sun, his mother planting flowers, him being outside digging up worms in the dirt. So you work with your children. Yes. Yes. You get involved in their work. You listen to them read. Yes. You, yeah, you're the mother. It's not the teacher's responsibility that they learn. It's the parents. Yes. It's us as being parents. And the way schools are today, there's no way, and this is me, there's no way, not my child, mm -hmm. not my daughters, True. not my sons. Yeah, I would make a way where I would teach my children in my home. You all hear me? Yes. yes. True. Because this world is corrupt. Can I tell once your daughter gets raped, listen to me, once your daughter or the son gets raped, there's no getting that out of their memory. True. There's no getting that out of their memory. Sometimes it messes children up. Do you hear yes. No, it ain't no sometimes. Let me take It will mess them up for life. Do you yes. hear me? True. That's why you have to always oversee your children. Can I tell you when we go out, I don't let the girls just go to, yeah, I know they're teenagers. They don't go to the restroom by themselves. Yes, I take my old crippled self and I follow them to the restroom and I stand there with them. Yes. Do you hear me? Because we have to protect our children. And that's what I do. You say, well, you just too, no, I'm not overprotective because it only take, can I tell you, it don't take but two minutes, probably less than that. So we watch over our children. Yes. I, don't care, I, don't, I don't care what people think about us here. I don't. Yes. I don't care what people think about us. I don't. This is my life. Yes. I'm excited about my life. Yes. I'm excited about what Yah has done Yah. for us Yah. here in this place. Yes. With just a few. We, used, we had many at one time. Yes. But it got too tough, so the tough got going. Yes. But those that are faithful and committed, they're still here. Hallelujah. Those that know the hand of Almighty God, they're still here. Hallelujah. 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 Let me go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 3. Isaiah 2 and 3. It says, And many people should go and say, Come you, let us go up to the mountain of Almighty Yah, to the Bayat, the house of Yah, of Yaakov, and he will teach us his ways. Hallelujah. And we will walk in his paths. 
For out of Zion shall go forth the Torah and the word of Yah from Yahuwah. Did you all hear that, daughters? For out of Zion, the Torah comes from out of Zion, out of Yah's house. Yah will teach us the way. He will lead you and you won't go astray if you let him into here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My last scripture, praise Yah, is coming from Psalms 27. And this is one of the scriptures that Zakeng Yeramiya uh, spoke to us on the Shabbat. 27 verse, let me see, I'm going to read verses 10 through. I'm going to start with verse 11. Teach me thy way, yes, O Yahweh, and lead me in the plain path because of my enemies, the enemies of your mind. Yes. It's your mind to tell you, don't do that. That's too hard. You don't have to be with them. You don't have to listen. You can do what you want to do. Those are the enemies of your mind. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. Your enemies are up here. I know you think it's the horse of tall, it's the devil over there, and it's that girl over there, and it's that woman. No, it's you. Yes. It's you. You're the one that talked to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It says, For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelties. You're the only one breathing out cruelties to yourself. When you do wrong, it's you that. It told you to do wrong. Nobody makes you do it. True. You do what you want to do all True. the time. Yes. You do exactly what you want to do. Yes. Y'all wants us to stay in the way and keep his commandments and to love this Torah truth that has made us free. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the tub of Almighty Yah in the land of the living. It says, wait on Yah, be of tough courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, Hallelujah. on Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 And do I just want to share with you, like I said, even with Rayah getting sick, it started on a Wednesday evening, and um, we kind of took lightly of it. I just thought it was something he had eaten. Then he got sick on Thursday. And he was like, we went to Florence, South Carolina. And it was like he was a little bit confused. He didn't know which way we were going. And I'm not familiar with Florence, South Carolina. And the uh, GPS was telling us to go this way, that way. And I'm like, throw this thing out the window. And I just remembered, I saw something. I said, baby, let's go back to the right. And that day he was real confused, and he said, we won't be going out anymore soon. And I said, why? He said, I'm just, I just can't go out anymore with you. And I said, well, baby, I said, we're getting old. I said, I understand that. I said, well, Zah, can you run me? I said, I need to go out. I said, he'll take me. And then Shabbat evening, he got really sick. He thought he was having a heart attack. And he got Zakenya Romeo's son, Dawi, and Dawi walked outside with Rayak, and he had Dawi to come and get me. And he thought he was having a heart attack because he was hurting in his chest. I laid hands on him, I prayed for him. He didn't sleep any of that night. He was in so much pain. Well, at one in the morning, I got sleepy, and I just went to sleep. And all that night, he was up. And then after that, then he was, his body just started aching all over, and I'm like, what is this? And I kept saying, y'all, you're not taking my husband now. I said, then you didn't even warn me. And it was like a voice in my head said that this is not a sickness unto death. But I thought it was because I'd never seen him sick like that. Not only did he start aching all over, he couldn't walk. And I'm like, what is this? He couldn't walk and then he didn't know who I was. And that bothered me more than anything because he didn't know who I was. So as we, I did some research on the internet and then I prayed and then two nights back to back I couldn't sleep because I'm worried about him. 
And I was getting him up, trying to get him to the restroom. Why didn't you get brothers? Because he just wanted me to help him. So there was a sister and I asked her about this. She told me about our herbalist doctor. And she said, if you tell him what's wrong, he could probably tell you some herbs Ray I could take. And she jumped right on it and she had this herbalist to talk to me direct. He talked with me. He was busy, but he made time and he talked with me. And I told him exactly what was happening. He said, if he took that COVID shot, that's probably what it is. I said, no, sir, he did not. And he explained to me what he thought it might be. He told me the herbs to take. And I say in the next day or two, Rayak started thinking a little bit clearer toward our baby. And can I tell you, the part was is that because he didn't know me, it troubled me. And you always tell me, talk too much. He's always talking about the garden. The garden is how much you think I should plant. The garden, the garden, the garden. And I said, Ray, could you just be quiet for a minute? Whatever you want to plant, just plant. Well, when he got sick like that, I wanted to hear him talk. He could have talked about the guard till the cows came home. Me helping him and assisting him. And I would tell him every night, we're going to get through this together. Together. I would read scripture to him and I would tell him what day it was. And it's time to go to bed. I said, when you get up, I'll be here. Because he was worried about me leaving. I said, I'm not going to leave you. Because most of the time he would just sleep and sleep and sleep. And, and, but then you would have to wake him so, so he could use the restroom. So the sickness that overtook him, it wasn't a sickness unto death. No. And he's still battling, but can I tell you, we're victorious. Yes. We here at Teshua Community, we're victorious. And I'm still caring for my edge. Like I said, I've always, I went to school one some years ago to become a nurse. And then Rayak stopped me because he said in scripture he says, lay hands suddenly on no man. Well, I'm thinking you're gonna be a nurse. You can just choose what, you can work with children, you can just work with women. No, you work wherever you're assigned to work. You can be working with men, you're gonna see their private parts. And that's not the will of Yah for a woman. We shouldn't be looking at other men's private parts. When Rayak told me that, First, I was saying, well, it's like being a waste of money. It wasn't a waste of money. When y'all tells us something, you say, well, I put all this into that. No, you haven't. It's nothing. Yeah, Once mm -hmm. you come to the knowledge of the truth, it's like Saul. All the understanding, all the learning that he had, it meant nothing. Mm -hmm. The only thing that means anything, though, is that we understand who has created us, mm -hmm. what we are created for. We are created to walk in the will of Almighty Yah, to keep His Torah, to let the light of Yahshua HaMashiach shine from us, that we be excited, that we be a zealous people like no other people. Hallelujah. We are from beyond. Yes. You all hear me? Yes. There's no other people like the people of Yah. So when Yah knocks at your door, don't put up a defense. Don't say that's too hard. Don't say I can't do it because you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can. Yes. We can do all things through Yahshua if we just let him in. Yes. That's why every day I'm excited because what Yah has done for me. Now, so I've been sick. I've been sick a, a quite a bit. But I've learned how to care for myself a little bit better. A whole lot better, I would say. Just eating the right things. A little exercise. Not over eating. You know, because if you overeat, even if you're eating right, you still can overeat. So I've learned a lot of disciplines since we've lived this way. Since yes. we've lived this way in a community setting. Yes. There are things that I like that, that, that are not the best for me, so I choose not to eat those things. Yes. Because yes, ma'am, yes, sir, I like to feel energized. I like to have energy. When you get old, you don't always have that energy like this young woman on the other side of the camera. Mm -hmm. So I like to have energy so I can do what I need to do, taking care of the little place where I live at. Mm. I like to keep my home. Yes, we as women were keepers of our home. Yes. Mm. Not just the house that you live in, the bed where Yahshua, <coughs> if Yahshua is in here, we got to keep it clean. You can't defile it. Mm. You say, well, with your negative thoughts, that's how you defile it. Your yes. negative thoughts, 
your unwilling mind. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's how you that's how you pollute it. Mm-hmm. Not just cigarette smoking and drinking, but with your negative thoughts. You're never happy about anything. You know, there was a brother here one time. He said, I don't care what you say, that sister's always gonna find a negative side. She'll never be content. You could give her something every day, she's still going to always, comp- she'll never be happy. And he didn't lie on that. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be that way. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be that way. True. And you say, well, the workload is so hard. No, it's not. No, it's not. You don't work from sunup to sundown because we don't. No. We don't work sun up from, from sunup to sundown. Mm-hmm. We do not. True. No. When we finish dinner, we usually eat dinner at three, we go home. True. Mm-hmm. We have two sisters that do dishes. We might stand around here and talk, but you go home. Yes. We go home and sit around and do nothing. That's mm-hmm. the truth. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I told him, y'all, for this place, for his truth. Ray, I didn't give me this teaching, but I got the teaching from Zakin Yerami, y'all. Yes. For if we wait on y'all, if you wait, he'll show you how to walk in his way, in his truth, in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, daughters, this is what we do on Monday evening. We come together. No, you didn't hear from the other daughters, but you heard from the Eve. I'm the mother Eve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you said, well, you didn't birth. Yes, I did. I birthed them. They're yeah, my daughters. I teach them what's right to do. I, I, I am an example as I follow Yahshua, and I instruct them on what's right to do. When we plan our meals, daughters, they say, oh, we just go cook. We sit down and we discuss what we're going to have. True. Yes. That's how we do it. We discuss it. So if you want, well, we do something else. If you don't like it, we'll do something else. Yes. But we do work together. We labor together. Yes. That's how we know each other. That's yes. yes. the truth. When you are out there on your job and that was out there on their job, you, you won't know them unless you labor together. So we know each other. We see each other's face every day. Yes. Every day we see each other. We come in pleasant. We didn't always do that, but we've learned that over the years. Yes. We should always be pleasant yes. with each yes. other. True. If you plan to go into the kingdom, the proven grounds are here. Not when you get into the kingdom. You got It starts here. True. Whatever you do, you must do it now, here, or you're not going into the kingdom. True. And that's the truth. Your labor must be here. You can say, well, I didn't know. Can I tell you why y'all say he's not, he's not going to tarry with no liar? Because that's all you're going to do is lie. Yeah. You're going to try to lie your way out of it. He can deal with the whoremonger and the adulterous woman better than he, than he can with a liar. Because you're going to lie. Yes. So we told y'all for all things, daughters, the next teaching will come from Rayak Dawi that I will share with the whole king and those daughters that don't know truth. If you listen, daughters, if you truly just sit down and listen, it will make you free. Do you hear me? Yes. This truth will make you free. So we told y'all again for this truth, this time that I was able to share with you, we're going to show you our raised beds that Rayak and Akio Wasadad, Zake, Benamine, and Akio have been working on. The greens are beautiful. They are beautiful. So when uh, we get a minute, you know, we still have school. There are other things we have going on. So when we get a minute, daughters, we will show you our raised beds, how lovely they are. And even though the uh, man of y'all in his sickness, he was still able to go out and labor a little bit. Mm -hmm. So again, we told y'all for all things, and I'm so glad that y'all has granted him life yes. to be yeah. with me just a little bit longer. Yes. Yeah. Holly, you say, well that's selfish. No, it's not. Okay, it can be a little bit selfish. It's all right. It's still the will of y'all. He's my husband. He's me. Yes. He's part of me. So if y'all takes him, he might as well go ahead and take me too. Hallelujah. Because yeah. I'm nothing without him. Yeah. So y'all in Baruch, your daughters, I pray that this is a blessing and a strength to you, and we will see you soon. Shalom, shalom. 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 We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yari Baru. Yari Baru. Please push the like button.